How does DNA differ from person to person? Short answer, order of DNA base pairs, but not by as much as you'd think. Long answer, DNA is, simply put, the blueprints for life. It's what fundamentally makes you, well, you. It's a twin helix structure composed of four different sugar bases, adenine, which pairs with thymine, and guanine, which pairs with cytosine. And this is where things start to differ. Because while we all share these bases, the order varies. This, at the base level, is what causes the differences you see from human to human. It's why we aren't all just clones of one another. DNA is your special marker. Well, unless you're an identical twin, but it is still one of the most unique things in your possession. But as unique as your DNA is, and as varied as the human species appears to be, you might be surprised by just how much DNA you do share with your fellow Homo sapiens. Because DNA governs not just human life, but all life. You, your relatives, their relatives, dogs, cats, bananas, trees, lobsters, and yes, even Rudy Giuliani. And we all share a common ancestor. For example, we share 98% of our DNA with chimpanzees. This might not surprise you, you've probably heard that fact somewhere before. But then consider how much difference that 2% accounts for. Now look in your kitchen, see if there's some bananas. Pause this video and go get one if you want, or just pull up a picture of one. Take a good, long look at it. You share 50% of your DNA with that banana. Take that, vegans. Jokes aside, do you see what I'm getting at? While your DNA is different from the person nearest to you right now, those differences come from a very small part of your overall DNA. Because we all need DNA to code for genes that in turn code for proteins that allow us to function on a base level as a living organism. That's where the larger than you might think overlap comes in. So the next time you're squishing a bug or eating a strawberry, just think that billions of years ago, multicellular life started from one organism, and you two are its descendants. So just be glad you're the one on the sentient end of this family tree. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you have something you want to explain, be sure to leave it under the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this around. Until next time, I'm TaserLad, and this has been Short Answer, Long Answer. Goodbye.